Oh, hello there. Welcome back to Crafters TV. Hope you're having a wonderful Friday. There's definitely a Friday feeling in the air today here at Crafters TV. Uh, we have got a brilliant launch day for you for the next couple of hours on some beautiful brand new Violet Studios products. There's lots of other goodies as well in store over the next couple of hours. Talking about goodies that are here for the next couple of hours. Corinne's back with me. How are you, Corinne? You flatterer, you. you flatter. <laughs> I'm really good, yeah. All lunched up and ready to go. All lunched up and I feel alive. Wasn't that a Spice Girls song? No, uh, it? was it a Saturday song? That was all fired up. Almost the same. Almost really? the same. Really? Uh, well, we've we'll got a it. lovely new collection, haven't we? We that we have. Focus on. Who doesn't love the Nutcracker. The Nutcracker is a nut with, with it's just typical of Christmas, isn't it? We all, you, as soon as you see the Nutcracker, you think Christmas, obviously, mm. because it's set in that Christmas scene, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. But this is a lovely kit. Maybe you're not into your die cutting, or maybe you want a kit that you can take away from your die cutting. Uh, maybe you want to take it away from others. This is an all encapsulating kit that's got everything that you need. We've also got some Violet Studio card blanks on the show as well. Well, if you want to have a look but you know we've got all of the elements that you want that you can just craft gorgeous little things don't think just cards we can do little gift bags obviously there's a cracker set in there there's all of the elements that you might like in there that you can craft with um, and make some absolutely gorgeous nutcracker themed projects and just so that you see, one of the projects we're going to make in this show is we're going to take the embroidery rings. Now, the embroidery ring is actually in our second bundle that we'll show you in a bit. It's in our soft craft bundle, as you can see. And we're just going to make a little wall hanging and we're going to just incorporate some of the elements from the main kit, it, along with our little, um, as I said, our little um, embroidery hoops and see what we can make. But, you know, Take it away from that, and as we showed you earlier, you could be making your shaker cards, this is what, which is one that I did just there. You could be making your gift boxes, so maybe you've got your gifts in there, maybe it's going to have some fudge or some homemade sweets, marzipan stuffed dates. That's Christmas. Marzipan stuffed dates. Marzipan stuffed dates. Ooh, yeah. I don't have ever had one of those. Oh, we used to make them all the time. Green marzipan. So we used to make pet, like a peppermint marzipan to go yeah. in the middle. Yeah. Ooh. Coconut ice. They're, they're all the Christmas nice. ones we used to make. Oh, Delicious. truffles, yeah. I love used coconut to, ice. Yeah, you used to make all those. That's what's going in my box anyway. Or you can be make a reverse easel, because this is some of the card blanks that we've got on. Or you can just totally just make them into cards. And I love this, because this is a scene out of one of the paper pads. And then we've just put the wooden um, um, chipboard embellishments in to sort of enhance what's already there with the papers, which I think is a lovely way to do it and it's all sized absolutely perfectly brilliant isn't it absolutely gorgeous a wonderful wonderful collection before i get into that collection and give you the details i need to give you a heads up on some stuff that is very low stock well, we thought we we're going to have in our later craft fault show but it doesn't look like it's going to make it unfortunately uh, one left on the colorist collection if you want this 34 pounds for 56 dollars it's pretty it's got 18 uh, markers in there with 54 different uh, pens. So each mark has three pens in it. 27.20 or 44.80 if you're a Platinum member. Uh, also, the Gemini Mini accessories are very low stock now. For 9.99 or 15.99, you get two sets of the folders, the purple shim and the bag in that particular collection. We then have this here. Uh, this is very, very limited stock. £22 or $22 gets you both of the iris folding and the embroidery craft kits. They're normally £25 or each, so that's sensational value, but very limited stock there now. Uh, the Christmas scenes have been really popular throughout the day today. This is Chris, the uh, scene edibles here. Uh, half price, so no wonder they're popular. £20 or £23.60 if you're a platinum member uh, and now and the other thing i want to tell you about we have a few of these left from last night's show it is debbie's double discount mystery bag now we had a double discount um carload for you last night where you got one set of discounts and then another set so this bag 50% off and then 40% off and debbie selected some of her all-time favorite things that she wanted to put in here for you 
We're going to start with these, a full set of tri blends. These six pieces gives you 18 markers in there. They're worth £20 or $30 on their own. She's also managed to find, I don't know how she got away with this, she's also managed to put our outline markers in there as well. So these two items alone, that is the, what you're paying here cost wise, 30, £32 or where is it? £32 or $46. So that's the cost covered there with those. Then she's also put in her double-sided dies. She loves a double-sided die. She's also managed to get you a cut and emboss folder. There is also a six by six country lane paper pad in there, which is delightful. Then we've got some sentiments as well in here, as you can see. Next up, we have got uh, this, a floral aperture. Really cool, that's your wild flowers that you're looking at there. Uh, and, I've got two sets of that one there. I don't know why I've got that one too. You'll get one more bonus stamp set included as well. And she's given you uh, a tag die as well. Sorry, tag stamp in there too. That, sh that is 109 pounds or 153 dollars worth of value within there, which is amazing. Platinum members, 26.38 or 36.80. How would you on the stock of that? Oh, so I think it's about 80% uh, about gone, I believe that was when we uh, looked last night. So if you want it, you will need to be quick for it. Uh, we are, I'm gonna move on to this though, which is of course your brand new launch. Not before, I've seen what you lovely lot are saying in the comments. Uh, Astrid says, hi, from a beautiful day in Oxfordshire. I must admit it was a very sunny morning, wasn't it, in uh, the northeast today. Uh, Corin had all the windows open, the doors were open. It was fresh and crisp, but beautifully sunny this morning. <laughs> and then you started walking around without uh, your trousers on. Yeah, and then I came downstairs and we found, well, she actually got a bit more than she bargained for <laughs> at one point today, uh, Corinne. I, didn't, I thought she'd gone, actually, so I got in the shower, got out of the shower, crept downstairs. Here. My, my, uh, my... Uh, Skimpy. My, uh... <laughs> My clothes were drying in the front bedroom on the middle floor. Uh, Corinne was in the back bedroom on the middle floor. So I just went down in just a very small towel to get some pants. And with that, she comes out of her uh, bedroom. I'm like, hi, <laughs> <laughs> scampered in there. She didn't wash the towel for me, unfortunately. No, uh, not after the last time. Boop. Um, <laughs> Carlette, Mary Rhino says hi from Maine. Uh, Rachel, our social media superstar, wants to know what was for lunch because she had pumpkin sweet potato and carrot soup after I inspired her to do something with her pumpkin. Ooh, that's nice. Mm. I had jacket potato cheese and beans. I thought I was having a jacket potato with cheese and beans. Turns out I was actually having an egg mayonnaise sandwich. <laughs> sort of sums up my day. I didn't really know. I thought it was a cheese sandwich. Uh, no, it's an egg mayonnaise. Ah. Yeah, it was delightful. Uh, Kristin says hi from Pennsylvania. Melanie say happy Friday. Evelyn's in Colorado, they've got snow. I tell you what, it doesn't feel cold, far off cold enough to snow. Uh, that was terrible English. It's very cold, isn't it, in the yeah. North East today. Um, Lillian saying hi. Mary Rhino loves uh, the Nutcracker. Janet says, I do love those papers as well. Was it perfect towel drying weather, Joe? It, it's not towel dry. It's a sort, I put this on Instagram earlier. It's a sort of, um, it's a sort of weather at the moment whereby you'll hang something out on a hanger indoors and it takes about 45 working days to dry, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, it's that kind of nothing dry. And in my apartment, it, it's not very, it's, it's quite, um, I don't get a lot of direct sun this time of year. And honestly, it feels like stuff never dries. It's like days and days and days before it dries. Anyway, enough about my laundry habits. Let's move back to this, the brand new collection for you. You guys love this in the earlier show. Lots in here to shout about as well. You've got the pom-poms included. You will get the ribbons in here. You've got toppers, wooden elements. You've also got chipboard stickers in there, a six by six and a 12 by 12 paper pad. Plus, you will get these as well. These are shaker stickers, like a shaker aperture, but on a sticker, which is excellent. And you'll also get this, which is a cracker making kit. Let me share with you uh, this 12 by 12 paper pad because it is absolutely delightful. It's got spot foiling in here. Everything in this collection is available individually. So if you did want to add extras, you are absolutely most welcome to. Um, loads in there, lots of really lovely designs. And of course, everything is matched color wise and design wise with that main collection. The card panels in the front are really lovely as well. And they're all beautifully foiled there on the front, as you can see. So it's really, really stunning. 34.49 or 46.49 on that collection. 27.59 or 37.19 if you are a platinum member. Crystal says, Joe, you are so funny. Thanks, Crystal. 
Uh, right, then, Corinne, where would you like to start with this? I thought we'd start making a little gift bag. So we'll go straight away and we've just leave um, card making behind for a few minutes. So out of the 12 by 12 papers, I've just cut this. So that's the full 12 inch. And then we've just cut this down to eight inches. As you can see, it just matches up to the eight inch on my scoreboard. So putting it up to the left hand side, because that's your accurate measurements, I'm going to score down at two and a half inches. There we go, just go all the way down there. And then again at five and a half inches, because five and a half to eight is two and a half, so we've just got, we've got equal size panels. So we can do that. Then I'm going to spin it round and I'm going to score at two and a quarter. So that's two and a half, so that's two and a quarter. And I'm also going to score at five and a quarter. Now, my scoreboard runs out to do the opposite side, but that's not a problem because all I'm going to do is I'm going to spin it round and I'm going to do my two and a quarter again on this one just to get the matching and then my five and a quarter on there. So what you'll see is if you take um, this panel down the middle, that side is a mirror reflection of that. You can see Thank the you score, score lines in there. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold it down on those score lines, just making sure we're nice and square. Go down that one and then on that one. There we go, all the way down. It's so easy to make little gift bags like this and it's just so much more personal when you do them like that, you know. So, you know, are you having a little fair at Christmas and you want to put all of these onto your, your little fair? Actually, I should have folded it the opposite way, shouldn't I? And actually, it would probably fold easier, but never mind, I can refold them. I always think sometimes I always fold two ways anyway because it gives you um, better score lines, I always think anyway. There we go, score like that, and then I can just score, just refold that one and that one. Right, now, all I need to do now is I'm going to take this and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to cut all the way to that middle panel. I'm going to cut right down here. It's the easiest bag that you could make. And I'm going to take this corner off here as well. So I'm, but I'm just going to take it off just inside. Can you see? So there's the score line, I've just taken it off just inside. And so I'm going to come down this one. Could do with my longer scissors, but they're not in the pot, Joe. Where's the long Have you seen the scissors? You want ones. You know, the um, six inch, is it six the inch The bigger scissors? ones? The bigger no, ones. They're I was using there. those ones this morning that you're using there. Yeah. Somebody's obviously borrowed them and not brought them back into the studio. This happens all the time. Uh, Kimberly says, I always thought I wanted to live in England, but I'm not sure I can deal with the weather. Is it really cold, rainy and grey? that often from about the end of September through to about the end of April. Yeah, it's pretty miserable. I'm not going to lie to you, Kimberly. It's very changeable, the weather in the UK. Yeah. That's the thing. Whereas a lot of people, a lot of countries and a lot of weather systems have quite dependable seasons, don't they? So they'll have, you know, dependable heat and then dependable cold in the winter. Yeah. Because of the way the weather system's coming off the Atlantic, it means that we get lots of high and low pressure. So it's never really, it's, it's very unpredictable. Listen to Weatherman Joe. Sorry? Because of the cause Weatherman Joe. Yeah. I think, you know, with oh, that... Oh, call me, with call that, me Thomas Schaffernacker. With that, um, with that top on, you could be a fisherman doing the, um, the weather forecast. I could be a fisherman doing the weather forecast. Well, like the shipping forecast. Doing, a, you know, doing the... Um, what is it? The, um, is it the Radio 4 weather forecast? The, yeah, well, the shipping forecast is good. <laughs> right, now if I was organised I'd have a hole punch and I'd use a hole punch in there but I've just used my pokey tool. Right, so now you can see we've cut it all down. So this is the easiest little bag to put together. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over. Wet glue, tape pen, it's entirely up to you. Come on. And then I can just put some tape along here. And I'm just going all along here. There we go. And this side and this side all the way down there and then I can bring it in here and I can put the first one on and then just perfect corners to there and that one and then we can do exactly the same on here so you can see you've made a perfect little bag we've got the little box in there you could even make a little box that would slide into there and then that one will pop up and then I've got a couple of little tags out of my card topper set. 
There you go, got lots more left in there. And all I'm going to do is take one of the lovely ribbons that you get. I'm going to just grab my tweezers because that's the easiest way to go through there. That's going to go in. Oops. I just took that back out. I've got that threaded through and then I unthreaded it. Put that one through there. Come on, thread. There we go. That's going to go. Oh, tweezers are a bit gluey. There we are. Right, and we're going to pop that through there and bring that round and then we can tie a lovely little bow. Can you see lots of room in there for your little gift? That looks perfect for the um, the earrings or the necklace. Actually, I've spotted a couple of necklaces I've, I've put onto my Christmas list for Christmas this year. Have you started writing your Christmas list? Sorry? Have you started writing your Christmas list? I don't have anyone to give it to, Corinne. Oh. No one buys me any Christmas presents. Your mum does. Not really. Doesn't she? She, she gives me some money normally. All oh, right. Well, that's still a gift. Yeah, I guess so. That's a gift. It's sadder than that, Corinne. Go on. <laughs> no, I was in like, I expected a little bit more soon, like, oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> me joking. <laughs> I'm in a funny mood today. You'll have to do a secret Santa and then you, yeah. get, then you get some gifts. So I'm just going to trim this ribbon off and pop this on here. So there we go. So, oh, I could have done, I didn't centre that very well and I've not got a very long end on that little bit, but it'll be fine. So let's just turn that bit round. So then I'm just going to take some of the um, chipboard little stickers. There we go. I'm trying not to get my fingers on the back. And then we can put our little King Mouse on. And then how about putting on the star? Actually, I'll do it with my tacky glue, because once that's dry, that's as strong as anything else we've got. So I can pop that one on just there. How about a lovely little flower? Again, in those chipboards, we can put that to there. And then finally, just from the card topper pack, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there, give that holly a little bit of a shape, and then we can pop that just on there. And how, oops, chipboard mouse has fell off. Let's put a little bit of extra glue on, because I've got ribbon fluff behind there. There we go. Pop him back on there. There we go, press it down. And then we have a lovely little gift bag. I mean, how quick and easy was that to put together? So if you are making gifts that you haven't got a bag and you want your, your gift bags to match your cards, to match everything else, then have a go at making them yourself. Absolutely brilliant. 34.49 or 46.49 gets you all of it. Um, uh, right, uh, let me recap exactly what is in there for you. Uh, here, of course, uh, you are going to get the pom-poms in here. You get the ribbons, remember? Uh, you're also getting those wonderful toppers. You've also got uh, the wooden elements. Remember, you've got those uh, chipboard. Chipboard or mountboard? Chipboard. Why am I struggling with that? Well, we just won't go in. I know what I need to think. Fish and chips, chipboard. Okay. Delicious. Oh, where's the salt and vinegar? Then I remember. Uh, six by six and the 12 by 12 paper pads are coming in there, of course. And you're also going to get those brilliant shaker stickers and the crackers as well. You'd be crackers to miss this at this price, is what you'd be. Uh, 34.49 or 46.49 is your price on that. 27.59 or 37.19. For platinum members, remember, you've got a. Uh, you've got. Um, double points on everything today here on crafters tv and across the entire website and also for the rest of the weekend which is delightful and delicious isn't it uh, lots of you chatting away with me in the comments as well very chatty bunch on this friday which is lovely sounds like maine joe says mary rhino which is why i would be just fine moving to the uk uh Sandra said i've just had another of my 10 pound vouchers and done some christmas shopping my niece and nephew and their other halves oh nice lots of nice giftable stuff actually on the show today i've got here for you uh, the soft craft selection of nutcracker stuff i'm going to ask corin to share us with, uh, with us um, the samples in a moment but you've got an advent calendar and this is massive the advent calendar you've also got to make your own stocking embroidery kit 
and an embroidery hoop kit as well in there. So that is brilliant value considering you're getting all of them. Uh, again, 35.95 or 45.49 uh, if you wanted to get your hands on those. Have you got those soft craft items to hand over there, Corinne? Certainly have. Excellent. Look at this. This is your gorgeous advent calendar. Now you're going to have everything you need. I think you have to just add your own. Um, your own cotton threads in that will be it so you've got everything you need to make this amazing advent color that's going to last year in year out and as you can see if i just held up for example the chipboard figure can you see how everything ties in and what i wanted to show you is if you look on the back look at the gorgeous patterned fabric that goes on the back that matches look at that it matches your papers in your 12 by 12 absolutely beautifully so just think of what you can put in there you know um like i've got my twin grandson so i could get two little chocolates in each of those um because we have to be really careful because uh, arlo's got a milk allergy so we you know i can find suitable chocolates to go in there if i wanted to and i love it goes up to 25 how many advent calendars these days only got to 24 yeah when i was little it was always up to christmas day always really? 25 never oh. 24 but now they seem to do to 24 very often mm. yeah and the other one you can do is this gorgeous stocking and now what we're going to give you is we're going to give you the transfer sheet of your full alphabet and then also your extra little bits and then you can just um embroider your own patterns on to there and i love that how about we all love personalization and that's what you're getting here look at the go you've got the gold thread on here as well absolutely beautiful and i think anyone would love receiving that and then you've also got the hoops which i showed you um earlier and we're going to make a card with those in a few minutes or a wall hanging Absolutely brilliant. Uh, let me share something else with you. Very busy on that soft craft launch. Remember double points there, as there is with everything. Uh, we're going to move on to these. Now we've got a three pack of our discovery kits. These are again absolutely uh, brilliant because you've got everything you need in here included. You don't need anything else. It is all in the box for you because you get three tri blends in here. You'll also you get your um, art liners in there. You've then got your marker paper as well, printed and blank to practice on so you've got mandalas printed that you can fill in and then also some plain ones to have a go at yourself and you've got your how-to booklet and you get the same for each of the different pens in each but you still got the how-to booklet and the printed worksheets this one here uh, this is brilliant because you've got your cl uh, classics in there you get five classics in this collection uh, as well as an art liner the worksheets and also the how-to and then this one here, this is your modern calligraphy. Maybe you always fancy doing fancy writing. Uh, you could teach yourself with this particular collection. Uh, and again, uh, you are gonna get two metallic markers, a glitter marker, and two outliners in this particular one. A brilliant deal. You're buying two and getting one free, essentially, in this collection. 1860 or 3152 if you are a Platinum member. Lydia says, is there any shaky stuff in the shaker stickers? Of course. Yeah, little gold bits, look. Not sure how close we can get. It's going to be quite difficult for you to see. Yep. See it? Well, there wouldn't be shaker stickers if they didn't have shaker stuff in, it would they? It would just be a sticker, wouldn't it, if it didn't yeah. have a shaker? Imagine if all your shaker bits had fallen out. I know. Nightmare. They're not going to fall out of these. They're lovely. No, absolutely. They're all in there for you, yeah. So don't worry about that, Lillian. Not a issue whatsoever. Um, we are going to go... We're going back to Corinne, I believe. We've got oh, another demonstration. Are. are you like a crafting machine today, Corinne? Well, this is so easy because when you've got everything laid out here like this, it's so easy just to craft and craft and craft. Now, I'm going to take something a little bit different. I'm going to put my sort of spin on here. So all I've done here is I've taken two pieces of cardstock and I've gone three and a half inches by five and a half inches. And I did that because I started with one of our six inch card blanks. All I did was trimmed it down to four inch. I chopped off a two inch panel on there. And onto there, I'm going to pop some gold card. So just some gold mirror. So, you know, you're bound to have different mirror and all sorts in your crafty stash. So if you've got all that, then just bring it out. Because that's what I was saying earlier, is this kit is going to make you look at everything that you've got. So I can put that on there just like that. Line that up nice and straight. And that goes on there just move it over very slightly let's just 
put that there. Now, what I've done here, so as I've gone three and a half inches wide by five and a half inches tall, and then I've just di cut one on the diagonal. These were from the six inch paper pad because I wanted the smaller pattern. So if I find that on there, look, you can see it's from the smaller pattern. I put them together and I put them together before the show because what I wanted to be able to do was I wanted to get our distress tool and I wanted just to give a bit of a distressed look to the edge. Now, I've even let it rip it a little bit because that's all going to help with that sort of distressed look because sometimes perfect doesn't work. And then all I just do is just run that down there. Now, you could do this with a pair of scissors, but this is definitely the easier way to do it is to so get yourself uh, one of these little distress tools. And I'm sure if you've got an order going in, then you can just put one of these in as well. So once that's nice and roughed up on the edges, we can then glue that down. There we go. Just put that on there, making sure we sort of make a feature of that little element on the corner. There we go. And that is going to go on here, just like that. There we go. That's going to go just there. Right now, that's my card base and we can go anywhere we like with that. So what I've then taken is I've taken one of the card toppers, but I wanted a mat and layer for that. So I've taken a piece of mirror card, I've turned it over and I've just drawn around that topper in pencil. Can you just see? And then all I've done is just trimmed it out around there. Now my trimming is nowhere near perfect but actually once it's on it doesn't show any little bits that you've got might have missed or not perfect trim. I promise you nobody would notice. It just looks just right. So that just elevates that really lovely and that's going to go on my car but I'm not going to stick it down just yet. So that's going to come somewhere down here. But as you all know, I love making flowers, not even to say Christmas flowers. So what I've done is I found the peony, but you could use any flowers that you can find. And I've got this and I'm going to pop these. I've got two layers. Now this is from the 12 by 12 and I know that because of the, the size of the print. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these onto here. Oops, there's a piece of tape on there. See if I, I sh should be able to. I did get all three on when I was at home, so can I get all three on? No, I can't. So I'll do it. I'll do it with, do it with the big one and the little one for now. I wonder if I did it in a different order whether they'd fit. Ah, there you go. It's all about. Isn't that weird? If you put them on the other order, they don't fit on. How strange. Put... I know. Science that. I. Yeah. Things that that annoys me why it doesn't work, but it does. But I suppose you're just maximising the spaces, aren't you? If you could have any advent calendar, <gasps> what sort of advent calendar would it be? That is a question I've got for you, Corinne, and everyone else in the comments today. What sort of advent calendar would it be? I think it might be a gin one. A gin one? Mm, I have seen those. Do like those. Mm, if you're watching... I'm not saying I'd drink it all in December. Might have a couple... Don't you pull that face at me? Don't oh, you pull that face at me? That is the at... biggest fib I've heard all week. <laughs> How about, like, I could see you with a mini, a wine, a wine one that was all, like, wine miniatures. Because yeah. you like a little mini bottle of wine, don't you? I do. Yeah, yeah. so you could have a little mini bottle of wine for every day. That'd and be that's nice. quite good. There should be one medium glass of wine then every day. Yeah. That'd be nice, That'd be wouldn't nice, it? wouldn't it? Jamie's uh, would be a beer one for Jamie. An IPA every day. Every day. Mm. Every day. Uh, George, what would yours be? A cider one. He never lets us forget that he's from the West Country. Uh, cider. cider. <laughs> um, I don't know what would be in mine. I do like these beauty product ones as well. I think oh, they're nice. yeah. But have you seen how much they are? <laughs> yes. So the one from the big department store, is it 400 this year? <gasps> no way. I think it's 400 pounds. So the men's one, because I thought, because they do a men's beauty one as well. And I thought, oh, maybe I'd quite like it. Maybe I'd like it. It was 299, I think. Yeah, or 249. Um, wow. I mean, they've got about a thousand pounds worth of products in them. How um, big they're was great it? value, sorry? Was it large? Large. It's a sort of a box about yay big. It's like wow. big drawers. Yeah, every day's a drawer. Wow. Um, yeah. That would definitely keep you going in The sort of thing that you wouldn't buy for yourself, but if someone yes. bought it for you, you'd be oh, over the moon, wouldn't yes. you? 
Wow, I do think I'd like that one. I saw a, a jewellery advent <gasps> calendar the other day, yeah. which was quite nice. It wasn't that expensive, either. it was about 50, 60 pounds, something like that. Oh, wow. so mostly costume jewellery, but it yes. was really lovely. It had lots of little bits of I was it. thinking jewellery, but then I thought, oh no, that's just too expensive. Yeah, no, there, some of them do. There's some quite affordable jewellery ones out there. I like the cheese ones that you, you hang them on the inside of the door of your fridge. I'm going to say. So you hang I them on the inside of your fridge. How would that not go off, but if you hang it in the fridge? Yeah, you hang it inside your fridge. <laughs> Money was not just a sports car. Where'd you keep them, though, Jamie? Uh, Is I it a sports car for the day? Sorry? They take it back at the end of the day. Yeah, swap it for a different one. Uh, Pam has got, uh, would like a Hotel Chocolat one. <gasps> they're quite expensive as well, aren't they? I yes. think they're about, are they about £40, something like that? All right, I thought it might be more yeah, than that. Yeah, I think they're quite expensive. Uh, oh, Aile uh, Aileen says, my advent calendar is a 12-inch high Christmas tree on a musical carousel with 24 decorations for each day living up to Christmas Eve. Well, that sounds splendid. You see, I, I want my, I want my twenty, I want box twenty-five. I'm greedy. I want box twenty-five because that's going to be a special present. It is, always. You always get the best one at the end, don't you? Yes. Um, Kate says, advent calendar. Uh, Kate would like an advent calendar, a crafty one that also includes a little wine and an audio book, so I can craft, sip, and listen. Well, but we can I'll, sort that. We can sort that. She could have the crafter's companion. She could have a wine what? one. Should you come to that? Club's companion one, a, get a wine you can one. Buy a bottle of wine. Someone get an audible, audible subscription. And then audible subscription and you're sorted. I love I my audible be... subscription. Oh, I, I was do. talking to my friend yesterday because uh, she was just saying, I don't have any time. I don't have to. I said, right. I said, you need to. You what, need to... what are you listening to? Me. I, I just listen to sort of chick lip in the car. Stuff that I don't have to concentrate on. Bonk busters. Hard. But I listen. It only took me. What? That's what the genre is called, isn't it? Yeah. Bonk busters. But it only took me two like, trips cool. up here to listen to the whole of Sarah's book on audio. Really? Yeah. Uh, here and back, here and back. Right. I am I am listening to a book called Red, White and Royal Blue at the moment, which is about the first son in the US. So it's about a female president's son having an affair with a royal prince. And it's oh, all wow. it's, it's all very glamorous and private jets. Is. And you know, it's just, it's a quite a good thing for, you know, you're a long day at work, you're just a real bit of escapism. Yeah. It's yeah. very, very good. I love good. it in the car, love doing that. Right now, look at this. This is something a little bit different. You all see us make our flowers out of our phone, which are absolutely gorgeous, but why not do it out of our pretty papers? So there's my large one. I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on there now you can do this with wet glue but when I'm trying to do it for speed I do find the um, hot glue is the best because then we can press that so I'm, all I'm doing is pressing them down final one go in there and then we can put that one in there then I'm going to get my ball tool my quite small ball tool and then I'm just going to press on there now I used all three sizes there but you can alter the sizes of the petals that you use you know just use smaller ones or middle sized ones and then you get different size flowers so this is going to be a totally OTT card which is what I love so this is going to be the one that stands out but look at that how quick and I've done all of that from the shaping to everything, the die cutting in one go. So let, let's bring my card back in. So I've also used um, some of my other collections and I've used, look, that stripy paper. So what I was doing was I was prepping and all the bits that I had left over, I was just cutting the foliage out of that. And I also cut some white foliage because I thought that would make a really nice contrast. So I'm gonna get one of my flowers. Let's use this one that we've just made. And we're going to put a little bit of hot glue on just something really different now this is where using a tenth fold card really really comes into its own because it will um, enable your card to not fall over if you try to do this on a side opening card then your card's just going to topple over and you won't be able to get it to stand up just because of the weight so we can then just put that one on so I don't actually put, or very rarely put, extra glue on for my foliage. I just use the flowers to capture it. And then we can do the third one. I've got four because I made three at home. And then I can put that one here. We can lift that from there. Then, oh, I know what I was going to do. These little chipboard ones. I thought those would look absolutely divine coming out of there. Look at that. So you can mix and match paper and chipboard I'm going to 
because they're double sided chipboard I can have that one come in that way then we can put some white elements in just there and really makes them pop but this is my sort of craft this is how I love to do this if I can put flowers on and really bring it to life then I'm really happy so we can pop that one just on there and then we're going to come back in with that little chipboard and um, cardboard topper card topper we can give it a little bit of a shape put that on there I'm going to actually put a little bit of glue on there because I want to shape it that will then fit just here so we can still see that diagonal and then the final little bit I'm going to do just here we don't need the glue top put the Christmas tree down there and how about just like that and I've still got a flower left over to go on my tag something a little bit different maybe not what you'd think traditionally for Christmas but why not absolutely it's beautiful really really gorgeous and I know how much you love uh, your flowers uh, but that's not this is not the correct details uh, by the way we'll just change that back to the main collection uh, this is, of course, the details for your brand new launch uh, that you are looking at. The Nutcracker Complete Papercraft Collection with paper pads, pom-poms and much, much, much more. Uh, and remember what you're getting in there. So pom-poms, ribbons, you've got your uh, toppers in there, your wooden elements, you've also got your 12 by 12 and your 6 by 6 papers, your um, chip board, see, fish and chips, remembered, stickers, your shaker stickers, and you've also got your um, cracker kit in there. Let me just take this off of here for you and just remind you how gorgeous this paper pad is because you've got, how many sheets do we have in here? 32, double, uh, 32 single sided sheets in this particular one. Really beautiful, really lovely designs and details all the way through. It's uncoated as well, so if you do want to stamp on it or uh, ink over it, absolutely, you have got the ability to do that as well there we are uh, right 27.59 37.19 if you want to get your hands on that as a platinum member I need to again remind you about Debbie's bag very very busy on this Debbie put this together as part of our double discount cartload for yesterday she's picked some of her all time favourite things um, also I don't know if you managed to get these in a the mystery bag. You'll get a full pack of tri blends, a six, six pack collection, uh, which is great. And these ones here, this is your floral blend. So great for all of those floral themes. And she's also put these in, the outline markers. These are amazing. So these color the center part silver and then the color immediately floods to around the outside of the silver uh, marker. It's very, very clever. That actually there comes to roughly the cost that you're paying for the entire bag as well. So everything else is now free of charge that I'm gonna show you with you. You've got your double-sided dies. You've also got a cut and emboss folder. She's put a full six by six paper pad in there, the country lane one, because that's one of her faves. You've got these lovely floral aperture stamps. You've also got uh, sentiment stamps in there, one of our little gift tag stamps, and you'll get another bonus stamp thrown in as well. $32.97 or $46, uh, $26.38 or $36.80 is a platinum member. It's really busy on that at the moment, so you will need to be quick if you want to get your hands on it. Right, we're going to take a really quick break. We'll be with, back with more inspiration for you in just a few moments. Uh, here's all the details of Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Here at Crafters TV, it can be easier to get social with us. Whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, on your TV or tablet, you can get so close to the action, it's like you're in the studio with us. 
You can ask questions about products or crafty techniques. Get hints and tips from our expert demonstrators. Plus, share pictures of your crafty makes with our amazing community. Crafters TV, getting you closer to the crafty action. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV with you wherever you are. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on catch up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all have time with each other! <laughs> You're not through to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. Corinne's sniffing her mat. It's all a bit weird what's going on. Are you sniffing your hair? Are you cutting mat? Yeah, it smells... I would really like that. Are you coming to have a smell? Yeah, I'll come and sniff your mat. <laughs> what? Oh. It's nice, isn't it? I've just got it out oh, of the packet. Oh, it reminds me of something, though. I know, I know what you mean. I can't think what. No, I don't know what it is. It's, it's nice. like... Is it like a... I'm getting sort of like a, a bouquet of, like, wild fruits and deep cherries. <laughs> with top notes of pine and it smells like, it smells a bit like a hospital. <laughs> like in a good way, don't you think? <laughs> I'm not sure, but yeah, let, sorry. Let, let Tracy have a sniff, see what she thinks. Give, give her Matt a sniff, Tracy, tell us what it, it smells of. It's, it's like um, plastic dolls you used to have when you were little, isn't it? I think it's got like a bit of a sort of a flora going, smell no. to it or something like that. TCP. TCP, TCP that's it. I told you it smelled like hospitals. Thank you. Right. We got distracted. <laughs> She's leaving. She's leaving. Oh. oh. It's only, you don't get this anywhere else, you know. I know. You don't. It's a full experience. It's a, it's a yeah, full, uh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> brief joke. It's a good job it's not in 4D, isn't it? Yes. Just, just 2D, 2D uh, the experience. Enough. Right, do you want to have a look at some card blanks? I think you should, don't you? So you've got a couple of different options in. The first ones you're going to see are the class, none of the, so the classic shades, they are, I don't know where it has the name on them of what one is which. I'm going to say that the classic shades is this. So each of them have got 12 card blanks and envelopes in here. I'm going to say this is the classic shades. No, it says it includes six classic shades, so I think that's the multicoloured one, because it says it's this six it's the shades classic. in there. That one's the classic, so I'm guessing it must be that one. Classic must be that one. If What's the next one called? Right, and oh, okay. um, ah, right. So that's the yeah, classics for then, sure. Yeah, so you get be. you're getting twelve in each of these. We'll get there in the end. Uh, then the next one we've got for you, brilliant value. These. The next one we've got for you is these. This is your pastels here. 
and you've seen me use these all day today they're just oh. absolutely perfect they're really using. lovely aren't they nice yes. weight too 240 gsm so perfect all round weight they are the pastels or then you can go for just the white plain white on its own if you want to go for that all in 240 gsm all uh, of them have uh, 12 card blanks and 12 envelopes in there for you so they're great great value 30 pence per card um, shame we don't have scratch and sniff someone saying in the comments uh, oh new mat smell says Kate uh, and oh was that you that wasn't me <laughs> <laughs> did you hear that at home what was it your having jacket potato it was outside it's so did you have a cheese and beans I did have <laughs> oh. jacket potato and cheese and beans but that oh. was a lorry outside <laughs> <laughs> that's what they all say well that lorry again oh where it comes if I uh, needed to be insulted I'd stay at home for my husband to do it uh, thank you uh, <laughs> Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> grab those. Three ninety nine or six ninety nine. Uh, Corinne's got a very lovely smelling mat next to <laughs> you. I have. I've got my self healing mat. This is absolutely perfect. It's a lovely size. So it is. Well, it's it's twelve inches by nine inches, but your score marks go up to eleven by eight because you've got the little border around the outside. So this is your self healing mat. So it's absolutely brilliant if you're using your craft knife. You're not going to get grooves. Sometimes if you use a craft knife on glass, it can slip if you want to use it on here. But just use it. Maybe you're going to stamp onto it if you've got you know if your table that you're working on's maybe got marks in. Again, you can put um, paper on top if you want to do your colouring because you're going to get that perfect um, surface. But absolutely um, brilliant because it's a nice size and if you are going out and about it is totally portable to go with you so it's just what I really think is so useful to have so that's really really good so yeah so 6.99 or 5.59 if you're a platinum member but absolutely perfect so um what do we call it imperial metric on one side and imperial on the other I was Seven pounds or ten dollars essentially is your price. Five fifty nine, seven ninety nine as a platinum member. Uh, we've also got the uh, trimmer as well. Oh, I love this because our guillotine is amazing, isn't it? But this does something different. Doesn't right. It? Yes. So this is what I was thinking. Well, why would you want a paper trimmer if you've already got our guillotine? Because we tell you how brilliant our guillotine is, and it is now this one will um, trim your cardstock so you can pop that up like that you put that in and you can see the groove is on there so I can then just pop that down and I can put that just there and it's going to cut but look at that absolutely no feathering the perfect cut what you can also do is you can put that on there and you could also go in here with your um, poke tool and you can do score lines perfect. as well brilliant but this is where it becomes different so as we said it is there we go it opens out so i've can now got 14 inches by 12 inches so you have plenty and plenty of room and 12 inches comes to here so if you have got your 12 by 12 papers you've got a little bit of extra room as well which is really brilliant so lift up the bit on here so i'm going to cut this bit to can i get after i've trimmed that off now i'm going to can i do it I'll have to do it that way. I've trimmed a little piece off. So let's trim that to seven inches. And then I can trim off there. Up or down, it really doesn't matter. It works both ways. Then I'm going to turn that round and I'm going to cut that to five inches. There we go. We can pop that down. And that's going to go on here. Now, when you look, I don't know how close you can get. If you look at this piece here, the little blade, on the blade, you've got markings in the centre. Can you see on yep. each of the scores? Absolutely perfect. So this is five by seven. And if I want to create an aperture with a one inch border all the way round, what I'm going to do, so this side is five inch. So if I take it up to four inches there, and then take that to here, I can now cut again. But I don't want to cut from the top. I want to cut from one inch. So I take my little marker, and because I've got that mark on here, I line that up with one inch, cut down, and I'm going to cut it till it's level with six. Then I'm going to take it round and I'm going to turn it round. So this was my seven inch line. So I'm going to, one inch border means I'm take it to six inches. And then I'm just going to go from four to one. And then I'm going to turn it round again. I'm going to put it at four inches because I'm on my five um, inch line, side rather. Oops, let's line that up, I moved it. And then line that up with the one inch down to so do you the have the markings inch? on do you have increments on the actual clear plastic part yeah look there's increments oh, down there because that's what i'm there. lining up with that's what i'm lining up with and then 
six inches. So I'm using these markings on here. So I'm now going from four to one, up oh, all the way to there. And then look at that. I now have the perfect aperture. And that, I don't, anybody can measure any bit, and that is one inch all the way around. I could have it of any size. But mm. that means because I can start, I couldn't do that with a guillotine because you can't start in the middle. Right. So you see, I can do that, and that is absolutely perfect. And that's a perfect piece that I can use elsewhere as well. Perfect. But that is just an, just an extra reason why you might want a tr paper trimmer as well as your guillotine. And does it go up to, is it 12 by 12 it will go up to? 14. 14, so perfect for all those larger A3s. 12 by 12s. A3s as well, yes, mm. of course. Yeah. So it's amazing, it's a really handy tool, isn't it, this? Yeah, and it also, really is. Not gonna break the bank. Possible. Sorry? Really portable as well. Portable. I love that you can, it's got a little handle so you can hang it as well, which is handy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 14 99 or 19 95 uh, 99 sorry, is your price on this. Uh, £12 or $16 if you are a Platinum member. Can you get replacement blades for the paper trimmer? I know we've had it asked before and it's being asked again. We're not sure. We're not we sure. We need to find out. Yes, we will find out We need to ask the you. question. It's quite a universal... Um, Blade. Quite a universal It's thing, whether it isn't comes it? out. It's just, I'm just not totally sure whether it will come out. I need to just to find out. That's the bit I'm not totally sure on. Okay, look. Yeah, we need to just to find out for if you. If that comes out. All right, no worries. Um, Lynn says, sorry I'm late, everyone. I've been in the Chesterfield store all morning with a lovely cat sewing Christmas felt decorations fabulous thank you cat and everyone at chesterfield oh, isn't that wonderful we did hear that oh, a little earlier apparently in the comments uh <laughs> and then what where else is commenting here uh julie says good morning to everyone from atlanta atlanta georgia good morning julie uh, lillian says i bought the nutcracker paper craft collection this morning without even knowing all of its context i wanted the papers saw the shaker stickers and checked it out it's got the cracker kit which I thought was separate, amazing value. Kate McQueen says, I've just placed another huge order, added the paper trim it to it as well this time. Uh, let's go back to then that main collection that we are launching today is Nutcracker, which is our brand new launch from Violet Studios. Loads in here for you. You're going to get the pom poms included. Remember, you've got the ribbons, the toppers, the wooden elements. You've got the chipboard, the six by six, and the twelve by twelve papers. And you will also receive in here uh, the shaker stickers, which I've really never heard of those before. And you've got the cracker kit in there too. All of that, twenty-seven fifty-nine or thirty-seven nineteen if you're a platinum member. This is definitely brilliant because it's one of those collections and I think this is true with a lot of Violet Studios stuff. If you did want to go to town, you know, and really do lots of techniques and, you know, cut into it and really play around with it, you can. But also at the same time, if you wanted to make a really quick, easy and simple card, if you've got a lot of cards to make or you tend to leave it to the last minute, you can put something together very, very quickly with these Violet Studios collections. Any questions you've got about this or anything else in the show, do let me know. Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion. If you're across on YouTube, we're going to go back to Corinne, I believe. A gift box so I thought that would be a really nice thing to do so just to show you the versatility so I've got all my little bits and pieces just here I'm just making sure I've got everything that I need there we go right so I have cut a piece two pieces of white cardstock and they have been cut to eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter as you can see the squares and I've scored at one and a quarter inches so yeah so we've got a nice center um, in the middle there and then we're just going to make them into boxes so this is my base because I've already write, written lids so if you've used the scoreboard we cut we score the lid on the left hand side and we score the base on the right hand side because what it's doing is that'll be a true let me fold that there that'll be a true inch and a quarter this one because it's the base will be an inch and a quarter and a tiny little bit more can you, uh, hopefully you can just about see that if I do it this way around you'll see it better if I pop that into there you can see it's t it's a tiny bit deeper so what that means is it borrows a little bit from the centre because they both started off at the same size. So that means that this one will then fit perfectly inside. So the base is actually smaller. So if you are doing, let's just say you've got a six inch card blank, then just remember that your 
square for your lid needs to be a little bit bigger than six inches because this one would come a little bit smaller so to get that to six inches maybe make that like six and a half inches or something like that six and a quarter yeah it's just one of the things you need to remember so we're just going to pop this on here and then we can do it with our tape Oop, what's happened there? again this could be for a Am I nearly out of tape on it? A dimensional card, or it could be for a gift. It's entirely up to you. Um, I don't think it's getting... They're too small. It's not getting a grip, isn't it? Ah, there we go. It's coming through now. There we are. There. Let's just put a piece down there. And don't there forget we we've got another show coming up late for you again uh, here today on Crafters TV. 6pm in the UK, 2pm East Coast, 11am West Coast. We have got a craft vault for we you, which will be fun. We have craft vault, Some yes. great deals. We featured some of them in the show, but there's absolutely loads of brilliant things for you to shop for over there. So, uh, yeah, make sure you go and check that show out as well. Everything is live now on the website for you if you did want to go and have a look. Now, we're not... I'm not... Um, According to Cheryl, Cheryl says, when we first sold this, it was a little while back, the paper trimmer, mm -hmm. there were replacement blades oh, on the website, but they're not there at the moment. Uh, right. But yeah, we'll try and get those back in. Thank you, Cheryl. I didn't know. It's the first time I'd seen it today, so I was going to try and get in touch with the lady that um, organised Violet Studio, but thank you for letting us know. Awesome. Right, so I'm just going to put some mirror card on the centre. Always when I'm doing boxes, I decorate them before I... Um, construct the lid so you know it makes it just so much easier so a bit, little bit of mirror card and then we're going to use the um, six by six cardstock so we've used the six by six so that we've got smaller um, print I'm just going to go on to my tacky glue for that one just because it's on mirror card and we don't tend to use our solvent based glues on mirror card because it can damage it if it leaks that's going to go on there. You, this is just, you know, the way you're going to be able to use this is just so versatile. It's just going to, you know, just keep on giving you lots and lots of crafty inspiration. And you can see, apart from making those flowers, I've not really been near my die cutting machine. Now, if you do have dies, then go for it and, you know, cut die, cut use the papers to cut out your dies but if you you know if you want to have a go at doing lots of things without your dies then I think you've got enough in this kit that you can do that quite easily so we can then pop that in the center look at how that burgundy frames the trees it looks beautiful doesn't it absolutely gorgeous and all I'm going to do then is I'm just going to layer up my papers but I just love how the gold foiling comes through it just makes it look so opulent but again because of the size of the project we're using the papers from the six by six pad and you've got plenty there so you've got choices it's entirely up to you so let's just put glue in the center because that's going to be raised just slightly so we don't need glue at the edges there we go pop that one just there then we can do the same with the sides Let's decorate the side. This is why it's easier to um, to decorate it before you fold it, you know, put it together because it's just going to make life that much easier. I can line it up, make sure everything's square before I put it onto my card base. Let's just put the next one on. And remember, with your tacky glue, less is more. It'll, it'll grab so much more quickly if you just... Um, don't go too heavy-handed with it at all. There we go. I need a little bit of glue on there. That was annoying me. There we go. And, oh, there's another one. There we go. All the way, just down there. But you can see how quickly all of these come together. Get rid of that little bit of glue. And then the final one of those before we put them onto the box lid put them on here now the sort of, this is the sort of thing that would really annoy me if i got it the wrong way around so what i'm going to do now is put these on and i'm going to make sure that when i put them on i put them so that the pattern is the right way up there we go you can see put them all on the right way around we don't want any mice on their heads or ballerinas looking like they're about to fall over. There we go, pop that one on. 
and the next one all the way around but I mean how quick and easy so you know if if you want to make Christmas gifts gifts to sell so we're saying full angel policy with this so if you do want to make and sell then absolutely perfect yeah great for that and just I think it's so brilliant if you do want to do something quickly you know the amazing for allowing you to do really quick easy projects i think they which certainly is fantastic. do so let's see if i can there we are my tape's flowing now we can pop this onto here it really is the easiest way to decorate it beforehand and then all you need to do is fold it and pop together just like that I've got perfect corners now if you're at all unsure about how everything's going to fit this will fit but top tip is before you put your final one together you can always put your base inside pop that round there and then put that on and then you know your base is going to fit perfectly that's entirely up to you so let's take our toppers so we've got our card toppers now I've done exactly the same as I did on that last one bit of gold mirror always turn it upside down because it, just in case it's not totally symmetrical draw around it and then just cut with the tiniest little border so that's going to go on there tacky glue all the way with the mirror card and what I like about these is they're not you're not popping them out so you've not got lots of little pips and things you know you know sometimes when you buy yeah. die, cut to, die cut bits you've got to pop all the you know then get the little chip pips off and stuff you don't have to worry about that with these a little bit of foam, oops, foam pads on there and then those could come off just like that now that's going to frame that absolutely perfectly i've then got one of our little shaker stickers i just thought we'd carry on with the um sort of shaker theme we've got a a lovely gold moon now tacky glue will glue metal chipboard and all of those as long as you give it time absolutely perfect but i am going to put a little bit of little bit of uh, chunky glue behind the bow and then i've just got a couple of little stickers to put onto there now what I've done here is I've taken it straight off without putting um, the glue. So let's just, there we go, put that one on there. And then, there we go, put a li another little shaker sticker on there. Then we can come in with, I always tend to, even though these are adhesive, I just, I've just experienced this talk with just to add an extra little bit of glue works perfectly and then that is our nutcracker box isn't that absolutely beautiful so so gorgeous Absolutely amazing. Really, really does. Uh, I'm very, very busy on this still at the moment. I'm going to share with you that 12 by 12 padding because it is absolutely stunning. Uh, really, really lovely designs in here. Beautiful foiling as well all the way through. It's just a really fantastic, really fantastic paper pad that you've got here. It's absolutely stunning. Um, lots of lovely designs running all the way through there make sure you snap it out i love the card fronts as well the card fronts actually got foiling as well on them in the front of there too which is excellent right next we have also got uh, the magazines for you these are brilliant uh, what you've got here is issue three and issue four now these are great value Always brilliant value at the full price, £12.50 or £19.50 for one. However, you're going to get two for that price today, which is amazing. Uh, so let me show you firstly the magazine that you've got. This particular one has 72 different projects in here. Lots of our familiar faces. See Leanne, we've got Sarah in there. Uh, to uh, lots of people from the design team as well and um, put projects together in here for you. Lovely Debbie Robinson there uh, has done that one, as you can see. Uh, there's a little bit of a... Uh, word, um, word search no crossword in the back of there too uh, and we focus on one of our lovely team members as well and it's uh, Stephanie uh, the lovely Steph that is in this particular one what you also then get as well as the magazine is you then get 
you get freebies, lots of gifts included in here. So let me take these out and share them with you. Uh, in this one, well, you're going to get a lovely set of toppers. Um, these are, this is imagery from our farmhouse collection, but it wasn't available individually. And we never did an A4 card so paper selection either. So you've got both of those in there. So you're going to get those included. I always put this all in upside down, you know, as well as back to front and round the wrong way, Corinne, it seems. In that goes. You're also going to get this. Now, I think you'd struggle for 12.50 to get this die set, let alone two complete box magazines. We've got some lovely stamps in there and you've also got some beautiful butterflies in there as well. All of that comes your way. That's your first one. So you've got two, two lots of these, remember. This is then issue four, the next one uh, in the collection. And I'll share with you what you're going to get in here. This was the one I didn't put away properly, Corinne, and now I am regretting it. Are you it. regretting it now, Absolutely, aren't you? I am indeed. Yep. Uh, so in here, again, beautiful magazine for you. Look, lovely foreword there from Sarah. Um, you've, I think you've then got lots of things. What I love about these is what it, it um, concentrates on lots of different areas. I've got colouring, card making, soft crafting. You've also got use. It's using a lot of collections that we've recently launched in here too, which is brilliant. So really great for that. Who is our, who's the spotlight on? Crafty chat uh, with Sharon Callas in the back of this one, uh, as you can see just there, the lovely Sharon Callas. So. Uh, let's pop that down into here. That's your magazine. Oh, I just did it. Uh, then we've got all your free gifts too. So in this one, again, you've got a lovely topper set. And this all goes really well with your balloon sentiments, the topper sets from that same kind of, I've got the same kind of designs in there. You've got all of your different patterned papers all the way through there. Uh, so that is coming in for you. Then you've also got then all of your dice. So you've got your nesting dice, which are these ones here, as well as uh, this one here, which is all your different stamps. You've got some lovely sentiments in there. You've got a stencil and you'll also get a template in there. So you're getting absolutely low, 70, 79 projects in that magazine too. So absolutely loads and loads of value uh, across the two of those. Absolutely loving these, 10 pounds or 15.60. If you wanna get your hands on those, you'll get double points, remember, as you will through absolutely everything. Now, we are gonna have a little look now at this, the artist collection. Uh, which is this one. I don't think this is the, I don't think that's the right one, you know. No, I don't, because I think this is the exclusive collection, this one here. I have a feeling this it's not the right one. This is collector's edition. Yeah, that's not the right one. We'll get, let me show you the artist collection. I'll show you a picture of it though. Uh, so I don't have it available here in the studio. Here it is, the artist collection, 39 pieces in there. It's a bumper. It's an absolute whopper. Lots of, uh, you've got alcohol and watercolour markers uh, in there. It's very, very busy on that. We don't have a huge amount. We don't have hundreds. We don't have hundreds of those to go around. £49 or $61 is your price there on those. Right, we uh, are going to move on. We're going to go back to Corrie for another make... demo. She's a crafty machine. I know, but it's so easy when you've got a craft kit like this. So there we go. Right, I've got some more um, jokes for you while we're going. So if you have bought this and you want your some um, some jokes for your... Jokes? Uh, oh, yes, please. Yeah, right. OK, so who hides in the bakery at Christmas? Oh, I don't know. Who hides in the bakery at Christmas? A mince pie. That is quite good. That's it's terrible, good, but good. Yeah, really good, isn't it? Right. So okay, you, can we have some more? Yeah, you can, you can. We'll do some more. I'm just going to start with this six by six card blank, and I'm going to glue some some merry card onto there. Okay. Um, which let's go. Do, 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 do. Uh, there was a really good one that I saw. So I can't, probably can't find them now. Um, do, do, do. What athlete is the warmest in winter? Is what, I, don't, uh, I don't know what athlete is the warmest in winter. A long jumper. Hey! <laughs> um, um, oh, no, that one. Um, what's green covered in tinsel and goes ribbit, ribbit? Uh, a festive frog. Mistletoed. Hey! <laughs> 
picking Tracy from a cup Even of tea. Even Tracy laughed. <laughs> she rolled her eyes at me. Oh. She rolled her eyes at me, Joe. There we go. She rolls her eyes. Uh, that's her default response to everything, though, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> did Rudolph go to school? I would imagine not. No, he was elf taught. Oh. Oh. Okay, oh. you don't like that one. Oh. Um, where are we? There we go. Do, 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 do. What is the best Christmas present in the world? I don't know. What is the best Christmas present in the world? A broken drum. You just can't beat it. <laughs> what do you get if you cut when you cross? That's very similar to a, a joke my dad tells, which I'll tell you in a moment. Go on. What do you get when you cross a snowman with a vampire? Oh, I don't know. What do you get when you cross a snowman with a vampire? Frostbite. <laughs> Right, I'll quickly go back to those in a minute. Now, I took one of my papers from my 12 by 12, oh, 6 by 6, and I was going to put it on there. But when you put dark patterns onto Miri, you almost lose it. So the way to get around that is just to put a white matte layer. And can you see now, the Miri pops, but so does the cardstock. It's a really simple device to get the most out of your papers. But it's really, really effective and makes your papers look ten times better. So I just wanted to show you that while we did that. Well, let me put that one on there and then we'll find some more. Go on then, what was your joke that your dad tells? My dad would always say in the book is, here mate, you want a tip for the 3.30? And someone would be like, oh yeah, he'd be like, dusty carpets, never been beat. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only one of my dad's jokes I can tell you on air about and get away with, I think. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So we can put my white layer on. What is the difference between Miri card and Mirror card? Asked Pamela Greenidge. Brands. Brands. Oh no, it wasn't a joke, George. It was it actually Pamela? If you've got any, if you've got any bad jokes, do send them in to us. But that was a genuine question. Sorry. That was Corey. a genuine question. What's the difference between? Yeah. No, I think it's brands. I'm pretty certain that's all the difference is. Um, yeah, so I'm just showing some jokes because I thought if you buy the, crack, the cracker kit, you need some jokes to be able to put in because there's little cards to put your own in. You Let me see what's do. on. Um, let me see if I've got another one. Why, what do angry mice send to each other at Christmas? Oh, I don't know. What do angry mice send to each other at Christmas? Cross mouse cards. <laughs> That's good. That one good. Is these it? are good. Where did you get these from? Oh, just off my Christmas repertoire. <laughs> <laughs> I just did some research. Um, what do vampires sing on New Year's Eve? Oh, I don't know. What do vampires sing on New Year's Eve? Old Fang sign. Old Fang. <laughs> I hope. I'm enjoying these more than I should, I think, today. They're fabulous. Um... I'll tell you that one. What kind of motorbike does Santa ride? Oh, I don't know. What kind of motorbike did Santa ride? A Holly Davison. Oh, Holly Davison. <laughs> oh, terrible. I like this one because this is quite relevant. What do you get if you cross Santa with a duck? I don't know. What do you get if you cross Santa with a duck? A Christmas quacker. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That is good. Would you like Melissa to take away with you when yes, you're finished? Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> Right, now, all I'm doing here is just matting and layering and creating some gorgeous mats and layers. Isn't that gorgeous? By just putting the gorgeous gold card underneath, just picks up all of the um, foiling in there. Now, I have just gone in with my dies, just some faux stitch circles, just to add a little bit of interest, but any circle dies that you've got will work. Oops, we can take that and then we can pop that onto here so this is really nice because it's drawing your eye in and we're going off center so i've got two of my baubles from the card topper pack and we're just going to stick these on as well so there's going to go on there so i'm going to pop that one on flat and then this one i've just put some one mil foam tape onto the uh, left hand side as it's going down and so that will just lift it ever so slightly but I've only put it on the left hand side because it would be raised by that much and then again out of the card toppers I've got my sentiment my with love sentiment and again I have just created a matte layer like just like we did with the other bits so all I've done is just drawn around the back and then just oops it's just sliding let me just put that there you're jealous about your bad jokes yeah 
They're very, they're right up, they are, um, they are, they are definitely perfect. Ben's brand of humour, aren't they? They guys? are, aren't they? Um, papers are lovely here as well, says Journaling. Uh, they are indeed. There we go. And uh, Evelyn says, I would love a list of these jokes, please. My 12 year old grandson would love them. Have you got them off the internet? I did. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. It was just something like best 50, top 50 cracker jokes. I searched for cracker jokes because mm. so, I thought I wanted it. To crack. Nice. So, yeah. How yeah. much of a thing are, I mean, I sort of made a bit of a sweeping statement earlier. So I didn't think crackers were really a thing in the US, but are, are they? Are they not? I'm not sure. Let me know. I'm sure we might have had this conversation last year and people said they were a sort of thing. But, I mean, you can't have Christmas without a cracker in the UK, can you? No. No. They are quite a new tradition as well, you know. Oh, are they? There was someone... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to investigate. Hold the Googles, I'm looking. Is it something like 19... The 19 teens, I think, crackers were introduced. I don't know where that's come from yeah, in my it's head. A, I think it was 19 Victorian teens. times. Victorian, it's yeah. Victorian time, and it was someone who had a chocolate shop or something like that started selling them in uh, 1823. Oh, that's totally out of years out. It was, it was invented by out. a London-based confectioner who set up a shop in Goswell Road, Clerkenwell. Smith initially produced wedding cakes and sweets. On a trip to Paris, he discovered the French bonbon, a sugared almond, in a twist of tissue. Ah, yes, if you think from. about it, if you do a twist yeah. of tissue, it's very much like a cracker, isn't it? Yeah, so anyway, it sort of grew from there. How about that? I mean, we've been chatting through making it, but it is so simple to put together because you've got all of the elements you might like. And I just think that looks nice just to put a couple of those together and have a couple of hanging ornament, or, ornaments, ornaments even. Absolutely brilliant. 3049 or 4649. If you want to get this in there, remember again what you're getting then. So you're getting the pom poms, ribbon, you're also getting your toppers, your wooden elements. You've got your two paper pads. Well, you're going to get the 6x6 six six and the 12x12. 12 12. Your chipboard stickers, you've got your um, shaker stickers, and you'll also get in there the crackers too. All of that uh, is coming your way. Right, uh, I just want to remind you about the craft kits. Two left, if they're in your basket, check them out, check them out, check, check out, check out, check out, check out. Uh, two left, you do need to be quick. If you want to get your hands on those ones just there. Right, we're gonna take a really quick break and we will come back with even more inspiration for you on the other side of this. Many of our viewers bring it up time and time again, and that's our wax seal seal gate. Thinking Joe might not work as well because I've put too much. <laughs> Joe's, Joe's laughing. <laughs> oh, I've forgotten to put me um me thing in place. <laughs> oh, Joe, don't... words, but I think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong. Water. That, that wasn't the one you just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry. Yes. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? It was. Are you kidding? I'm going to have to say... It's a slip of the tongue. I'm going to say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe going to say it's because of Mr uh, Ben Mosby. He is... Well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Hello. Fire my nose Um, I've made pots that have exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. Right. I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparkling, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me, down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. I went to reach for the water and, you know, do the, the, the tapping with the, the... And so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some... <gasps> Oh, it's not on your project, is it? Yeah. Oh, no. What makes TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the, the experts are really experts. They're, they're um, really skilled at what they do. And they want to make sure that the audience 
also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the products. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. The community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100%, is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part. And uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. Debbie Fisher always makes me laugh in that clip. I don't know why. It's like, the PayPal! <laughs> it's the way she sort of... Everyone else is talking quite quietly and then there's Debbie, it's the PayPal, only a puppet! It's just very, very funny. Makes me laugh. I haven't seen her for ages. I miss her. Um, Wendy Myers says, I was very confused the first time I was given a cracker. Uh, Kimberly says crackers are really not a thing in the US. They are starting to show up for sale more and more. Uh, Ellen says I've seen them in some stores in New York, but never really knew what a cracker was. Uh, is there a tradition behind the tra is there a story behind the tradition of Christmas crackers and what is put inside them? There is. It started off as like packaging for chocolate, essentially, in the 1800s, and it's sort of grown from there. Probably a royal probably introduced, you know, probably a royal put them on their Christmas table one year and then, you know, it was seen and then everyone um, went from there. Do you know what I really find sort of customs and origins of stuff really interesting, Corinne? Do you know why women have, like, longer nails? Go on. It is because in the uh, Chinese dynasty, the women had very, very long nails to show that they didn't do any kind of chore. So that's why the, real, the royal women would have long nails, yeah. impossibly long nails, yeah. to show that they, did, they were rich enough that they didn't have to do any chores or work. That's and that is, that, is, <laughs> that is how we've now... That is why it now becomes... Because it's funny how it trickles down, isn't it? And it then is. becomes fashionable. And that's why... Um, that's why... Um, it's these, a good job. These it's, two in the gallery, aren't It's they? a good job. Jesus. People can't hear what's in the gallery because George... Hale and Pete's in there. Because George, who's engaged, would be divorced yeah, before he's, like, he's married. Oh, oh, that's why my missus... That's obviously why my missus has <laughs> got long nails then. <laughs> Gosh, she would divorce him. She's got to marry you first, mate. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I find it really interesting how things trickle down into everyday uh, things. I do know why women traditionally wear makeup and men traditionally don't wear makeup, but I can't remember that one. Maybe I'll Google it in a second for you. But well, guys that one wear makeup too now, though, don't they? We were watching last night on TV, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> I made. Uh, I was saying it was going to be as funny as telling Debbie Robinson I was going to make Corinne watch RuPaul's Drag Race UK last it was night. Good. And you did. You enjoyed it, didn't it you? Did. Yeah. I, I was impressed with the one that won. That was you were. the right one. Uh, it was um, not the best of episodes last night, but it was very, very good. You should have seen when I got Michelle to watch it. Michelle got so animated. She was jumping up and down off the sofa <laughs> when they were doing, like, the death drops and stuff. Gosh, she was, she was having the best of times, honestly. <laughs> Oh, a little snort for you there. <laughs> Let's go back to this collection, shall we? We've got 38 minutes to get through. Uh, right, pom-poms. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I try and get people back. 37 now, Joe. Sorry? 37. 37, 36 now. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, get through without getting myself in trouble. Pom-poms, ribbons, you're going to get toppers in here. Lovely little wooden elements as well. You'll get 6x6 and the 12x12 card, uh, sorry, paper pad. You've got your chipboard stickers, those amazing shaker stickers. And also, 
Uh, you've also got your cracker kit in there. Did you know that dragonflies signify new beginnings? I had heard. Terry I had Anderson heard, just yes. said. Somebody had told me. I can't remember who told me that. No, you know? no, no. If you want to go for the collection, 34 49 and 46 49 you can, of course. Everyone's going to be able to use their clubbing discount. Clubbing discount? Yeah, clubbing discount. Club inspired <laughs> discount and get a little <laughs> more of a saving there as well. I think we better go back to you, Corinne, before I get myself in any okay. more trouble. Right, now, as you... We've mentioned it once or twice. There is an embroidery hoop kit, an embroidery kit as well, because we've got a soft crafts one, which did the advent calendar and the stocking wherever I put them. I put them very safe, so I've put Indeed. them on the shelf. I've put them on the shelf. And then it includes four embroidery hoops with the material for you to do your embroidery on. But I just thought, well, how can we incorporate those with our paper crafts as well? Because not everybody's into this, you know, totally into sewing. So here's the embroidery hoop. So you've got the inner hoop and your outer hoop. The, if you were doing fabric, you would put your fabric between those and tighten them up. But what we're going to do is we're going to put a circle of our cardstock. So this is just from our 6x6 paper pad. Now I'm just going to come on here with my tacky glue. Because as I've said so many times before, tacky glue is amazing. I, I made myself a board when I first started working here I made myself like a sales board Where? with the tacky glue um, just to see what I could get to stick with it yeah. and I could get foam and I could but I could get glass beads to stick um, I could get everything I tried metal craft embellishments digestive biscuits hmm? digestive biscuits I never tried that one mm, cat hair I haven't got a cat okay dog hair Okay, within my craft room, oh, he's, oh, what's he going to be like by eight o'clock tonight? Oh, I'm sorry, I apologise Somebody in advance. Somebody please come and save it's me. It's Friday, right. guys, it's Friday, that's why. It's Friday, and you know that in a few minutes everybody's going home, so yes, you can be as naughty as you like. Right, so we can stick that onto there, and that's just going to give me the perfect background. Don't worry, a little bit of glue showing, just eat through, but it's dries clear so that's perfect so I can just press that down there we go now the easiest thing to do is just to use your craft mat to make sure that you've got that centered at the top and then we're just going to go in with little bits now don't throw away all your little scraps because the little bit that you cut off when you were making the box lid or the little bit you were making you know is are all going to come good so if you're like me and you put everything in one of these plastic trays just like this then you're going to be able to keep all of your scraps and then you're going to be able to use these too so i'm just popping these on here so you can just see on to there now what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to make sure that that bit fits over the hoop there just to give it a little bit of extra support so it'll glue onto the paper but by putting it there that um that little bit of um, the band will help as well. Then I've got myself my little Nutcracker Man and we can put that and hopefully I put the foam pads in the right place so that they will catch onto something and he's not just floating in mid-air. I've then also taken one of the little sentiments so I've cut that out of the 12 by 12 paper pad so if you're wondering where that's come from just trimmed it out. Now I've got two deep of foam pads on there and one on here just because i've got the crown so that one will go over the crown just like that there we go tammy rightly says cat hair and dog hair sticks to anything without the need for adhesion joe mm -hmm. very true very very true right now i'm just actually going to put just for speed so i can pick it up i'm going to pop that on with my 3d glue i'm quite lucky elsie doesn't mold too much although doesn't appear to mold, but then if I hoover up, it's everywhere. So I'm like, wow. There we go. Pop that one in there. Oh, I'm going to use a smaller one, I think. Use a little diddy one just here. And then all I'm going to do then is just, I mean, imagine these, just lay everything out with your children, your grandchildren, your brown, my, my thread's all coming unraveled, you know, your brownie groups, whatever, whoever you're crafting with and just see what they make and I can promise you that everybody's makes will be slightly different and that's what is so fantastic so then we can then Kate uh, says try the tacky glue see if you can get Joe's to stick to the wall like the old wallpaper paste adverts oh do you remember I those? don't remember them no there was a wallpaper advert and it was um 
and there was a man and he and he was like was he behind the wallpaper was it no, like it was in... wall man paper no he was stuck to it he was stuck to the wallpaper but off right. the floor so because okay. it was supposedly so strong that it oh. would hold oh. i remember the advert i don't, I, don't I mean I, it's going to take more than wallpaper to get me on the wall there we go how about just like that a little beautiful. home deco that would be beautiful on the christmas tree wouldn't it oh a lovely tree hanging yeah yes. really nice yeah beautiful. give all these bits you've got four hoops you can get all the children to make a different um christmas decoration if you wanted to amazing uh make sure you snap that up let me just remind you then exactly what you're getting in there again i will show you that pad again once more just because it is gorgianius it would be a shame not to have a little look at it wouldn't it so you've got in here uh, all of those wonderful designs uh, there you can see all of that wonderful foiling that you've got in there and loads of lots of glorious patterns all with um the, some of them with the full detail i love those ones there in particular i think they're gorgeous but also yeah cut them out and make them they could be four card panels each there couldn't they yeah so you've got the six by six and the 12 by 12 card pad in oh Ooh, in there you've also got your chipboard stickers you have got your um shaker stickers and you've then got as well your cracker kit too uh that all comes 34 49 and 46 49 brilliant brilliant value you're gonna make loads of cards with that there's card blanks on the envelope on the on the envelopes there's card blanks on the websites if you wanted to <laughs> add those in did you know what i said corin there's card blanks on the envelopes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> right uh also let's move on i'm going to share these with you i know corin's going to show us some of the wonderful things you can do with these ah uh, that's why corin we're not hot doing them the right way i don't know it's because one side stuck down they need you need to be able you to need hold to have both sides, sides in don't your you? hands let me just show you designs you've got so you've got the heart you've also got the butterfly you've then got the uh hexagon and the circle in here half price deal for you they are nice aren't they they don't do the boards don't do them justice at all as corin was saying you need to be able to have both sides of the mobile 2040 or 2360 as a platinum member that's to get what 52 pounds or 60 dollars worth of items for you but something a bit different these as well it really is it absolutely good now the reason they don't work on the board is because if you put if you anchor that one down it's this bit here sticks you can see that way there yes you go. it sticks it to work it needs to be behind that needs to be free doesn't it yeah needs to be free so they just don't as a concept on a board they don't work so what we've got here is we've got the butterfly you can see beautiful really clever then we've got this one here with the circle again really really simple it's like it's gone and it's back and it's gone sit here for ages and then with the hearts because i just had time to put them in the right places so all you need to do is just fold them over can you see just like that and then as soon as you then do they go like that and then i like this because we've got different on either side chasing the butterfly and then the elephant absolutely gorgeous and then the final one you know you can have one on you can have two on it's entirely up to you there you Beautiful. go how brilliant is that yeah they're really cool though something a little bit different they'll slot into any of your collections which i think is quite handy really nice let me move on and share these with you uh 20 so 25 50 or 29 50 if you want to get your hands on those ones let's move on and let's have a look at the scenes of light stamp and die uh, these are excellent because these will go into loads of different concepts for you they look brilliant in things like boxes they work wonderfully on z fold cards there's loads you can do with them this one here is your nativity of light you've also then got the rooftops of light this one here is your village of light and you'll also get the fairies of light in there too 33.50 or 39.50 is your price on those and oh, it's got some things that we can do with these ones these are also half price i think you need to see these to you understand do, yeah. so you know what you need to do get yourself a card blank and then you make yourself an aperture the inside so this is exactly the same size as your card blank but it's folded into the four quarters instead and then you just stick 
two pieces on there and then you have your two on there so you just cut the apertures and then they look amazing so that one is the village of light then we've got oh this one's another village of light so lovely kite on the front look at that isn't that absolutely gorgeous that's been done so beautifully then we have it hasn't got written on the back which is like the rooftops i love that with just the gold behind the windows it looks so effective christmas eve then you've got your little fairies so this is fairy stamp and die set how nice isn't it is very that? pretty it is you've got your nativity one so you've got what we've just cut one into the um, front of that square or if you wanted to you can cut the two really really effective and finally i've got rooftops here and then when you look on there so that one is the same as where's it gone that one but by changing the colors can you see how different they can look if you just change change them up swap them around have them the different ways can make completely different look effects so clever really cool really really lovely 33.50 or 39.50 is your price there on those i want to move on and talk again about debbie's ooh mystery bag uh which is this one just here she's got some absolute bobby dazzlers in here for you uh she was in her own words chuffed with this bag she said yesterday uh you've got your tri blend markers in here they were 20 pounds on their own and you've also got some outline markers in here the two of those uh, are essentially covering the whole entire cost of your box which is uh, amazing and then she's jam-packed it full of other glorious things so you've got a um, really lovely big set of floral aperture stamps in there they come with a sentiment too you've got a wonderful full size six by six country lane paper pad that's in there you've got a, a cut and emboss die you've got a wonderful double-sided die you will also get some sentiment stamps and one of the tag stamps and another bonus totally random uh, set of stamps in there too all of that worth 110 pounds almost just over 150 dollars platinum members today 2638 or 3680 if you want to get your hands on those now, you got any questions about anything as always you can keep getting them into me uh, in the comments crafters tv on facebook crafters companion if you're over on youtube and i'll pop them across to corinne but what would you like to share with us next corinne um, that reverse easel card that you saw um, when I was showing you on the um, show earlier. So all I've done is I've taken one of my 6x6 card blanks. So this is in that gorgeous pink. This is from the pastel set. And then all we've done is we've scored and folded the front in half. So this is what's going to make our easel. So normally instead of going like that, we're now going to have it that way. So this is going to be the reverse easel. So we need to decorate it up. Now this time we've got some of our encapsulated gold, which is so, so special. So we can pop that onto our card base. So it's, quite, it's all right to use my um, solvent glue on the back of there because it's not going to touch the, um, the glitter. But it really does, does dissolve it if you have it on where it touches because I've done that before. Right. I've, decided, I've, I've thought I know better because Corinne always knows better. Mm -hmm. and, you know, Corinne knew better when she got her new die cutting machine and decided not to take the metal shim out when she was embossing and things like that, you know. And what happened then? It just was, the pressure was too much and it chewed up my embossing mat. Oh dear. On the first time of using it. First go. Mm. Are you because, that person that doesn't read instructions? Well, I did read the instructions and decided and then that it was, them. and then ignored them, yeah. Oh Because dear. I knew better, but clearly I didn't. <laughs> So yeah, so now we're going to have this this way. So remember to put your scene across the bottom. So this is from the six by six paper pad. If you were to use the 12 by 12, you wouldn't see much of the scene because obviously it would be larger. But now, because I've used the tacky glue, even if a little bit of glue comes out, it's not going to do any harm to that glitter card at all. So then I'm going to do decorate both these. Now you could actually get away without decorating that one, but we'll do it, do it properly and do it completely. So that's going to go on there. And the only reason I'm swapping between um, and putting the, the um, solvent glue on there is just because when it dries, it's quite rigid. So I'm just adding a little, it just for me, it just adds a little bit more rigidity and weight to my card. So that's why I'm swapping between the two and not just using tacky glue all the way, just because I like how it looks. So then we can put these on. So these look like gorgeous um, 
garlands on your mantelpiece, don't they? Can you see the swags that you do? I don't have a mantelpiece. I wish I did. A mantelpiece? Yeah. To, uh, of your fire? Yeah, I haven't got a mantelpiece. Because I like... Oh, that's because I haven't got a fire. That would be why. <laughs> that's probably why, isn't it? I think it probably is. Yeah. No. I haven't got no, a fire, no. 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 Yeah, we've done... Have you got, got a fire? No, but we've got a fire... Oh. We've got a hole where the fire should be. Oh. We had to take the fire out in a hurry. Why? Because it was leaking carbon monoxide. Oh, gosh. Yeah. What sort of fire was it? It was a back boiler. It was an old back boiler. But we had a person that... Back boiler? Yeah. So you know your boiler, it was behind the fire. Your boiler was behind the fire? Yeah. Oh, I've never heard of such a concept. Yeah. But then somebody that lived in the house, a couple of people before us, decided to build the fireplace with the fire in situ and didn't give enough room for the fire to be taken off to service the back boiler. So that's why it was leaking. Oh, so you couldn't yeah. get your back boiler service, so you had to get rid of it? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, so we had to get rid of it. In I don't know if I've got a back boiler, but servicing a back boiler sounds hilarious, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does sound quite funny. If you've got really a boiler good. in a cupboard, then you've not got a back boiler. A back boiler is just a I boiler. I have got a back boiler, I'll have you know. I've had mine removed, fire. yeah. So we've just, got a, we've just got a hole. Right, so this is another story. So we've just got a hole where the fire should be. So I had a light put into it. A light in the hole where your back boiler used to be? Yeah. Right, excellent. And we filled it. You could it, call it the back boiler cavity. I could. And we filled it with logs. Right. Painted it white and filled it with logs. Because I thought this is going to be really, really arty. Yeah. Except my husband got the logs from a tree that had been chopped down next to the railway line. Yeah. And then for the next month, I had these tiny little black bugs oh, no. marching across the living room floor oh. to get to the window. So I made him remove all the logs. Oh, that's not nice. Can't it's, be having that. It wasn't nice. wasn't nice. You don't want bugs in your back boiler cavity. <laughs> you don't. Not at all. <laughs> I'd brick it up. So now I'm just waiting to put a new fire in. But okay. there we go. It's too expensive at the moment, <clears throat> isn't it? Gas is too expensive. Well, when you put the new fire in, you could put a... You could put a what, is, what was the word again? We were talking about the, a word... Not a cavity, not a back boiler, a pel not a pelmet, a, a swag. mantelpiece. Mantelpiece, You've got a mantelpiece yes. in. I will. Yes, I will. I will. Yeah. I will. That's what I'm just. That's all I'm waiting for. An ornamental mantelpiece for over your back boiler cavity. Sounds great. Did I tell you I once had ornamental purple plums? Nightmare. <laughs> I did honestly. So you've not got, <laughs> you've not got a staircase either then, because you're in an apartment, aren't I you? I am. Yeah, I've got a hot water tank as well, which is really weird. So I don't have any gas in my, house, my apartment at all. Oh, it's all electric? All electric, yeah. My heating is electric. I have a hot water tank, uh, which is, comes on for like half an hour every day. And that's why my electricity bill is through the roof. I hope it doesn't come on while you're not there. You've not been there for a month. Uh, yeah, but I've got someone else living with me at the moment. Oh, yes, my friend nice. Taylor's living with me. So I said she's, she's uh, moved in for two months before she moves back to Australia. I've said, you are more than welcome to move in. She's a friend, you know, I'd just let her stay with me. I wouldn't charge her rent. I said, but I'm afraid with this current cost of living couscous that's going on, you're going to have to pay all the bills. So yeah. she's moved in and she's paying the electricity. Cause it's going to be hundreds of pounds for November and December. Yeah. Oh, that works well then, doesn't it? Right, now, all I've put here is foam tape on here. So I'm going to... Centre that in the middle of here. That's why I'm not having a new fire put in, because if I got a new fire, I wouldn't turn it on because it'd be too expensive to use. Yeah. And that'd make it an expensive ornament then, wouldn't it? Would, wouldn't it? Yeah. You'd get one of those the little lights in the background that just flickers. <laughs> just get a couple of LED candles and put those there instead. Yeah. Right, and that's what I've done that. I've put a storm candle in there. Right, so we can just pop this on here as a... Um, little stopper so that's going to go just there and then I'm using one of the card toppers we can put some foam pads on the back let's use that foam tape for a bit of speed but yeah I like I like to be able to put like a mantelpiece you know at Christmas like a swag like that and then up the stairs but I've not got either that I can do that for you what sorry I can't do that that swag over mantelpiece or up the stairs I've not oh. got a staircase that will work for that no either. I haven't got a staircase either no. I haven't got a banister that I could hang it over. No. Because I haven't got any stairs. <laughs> that would look funny, wouldn't it? Just having a, a banister with no stairs. Yeah, I could just put a banister along the hallway. Yeah. Just for the sake of it. Yeah. Maybe. 
Maybe. I've decided, because I've been in two years now, my partner, and I still haven't painted. It's all still white. It doesn't, there's nothing wrong with that. I also haven't put anything on the walls really yet. I've only hung two pictures in the main room. Right. No, nothing else has got anything on the walls. And Why I is must. That? Because you don't want to ruin the walls? No, because I'm lazy found... and I've never got round to it. Oh, fair enough then. Yeah. Fair but enough. my friend Taylor, she's very handy, so she's put a picture rail up for me. Uh, in She's put a picture rail in the hall and another in the... Um, another in the living room which is lovely That's that nice. looks beautiful it's really sweet isn't it again just using the card blanks just bringing them together tying in the pink from the card blank with that paper and how about just like that just you know i love this with the nutcracker because you can still see the um, nutcracker and the um, mouse king as well king brilliant mouse, mouse king whichever it is awesome kate says foam tape question mark that looks suspiciously like foam on a roll to me it's not the original foam on a roll it's just some foam tape there you go. Uh, right. <laughs> there, there you go. And facts are facts. Uh, uh, once again, I forgot to buy the scenes of light yesterday, says Mary Rhino. That's the third time I've forgotten to put in my order. Mary Rhino, what's wrong? Well, it's a good job it's on today then, isn't it? It's is a good job it's on again today. And don't forget, you've got double points today as well. So, excellent. Let's remind you then of what is in that collection one more time. Uh, you've got the pom-poms, of course, in here. Don't forget you are going to get the ribbons as well. You've also got your toppers the 6x6 six six and the 12x12 12 12 cards. You've got the wooden embellishments. You've also then got the uh, chipboard stickers, the shaker stickers, uh, and you've also got the crackers in there as well. All of that, 34.49 or 46.49, if you want to get your hands on that. Right, we're going to move on, and we're going to look at the soft craft stuff that's available for you too. I know Corinne's got the um, the sort of finished bits of these over there, so I might ask her to Ooh, yeah. show them to us in I a second. Certainly can. Uh, you will get two kits in here. They're big kit, three kits, in fact. They are big kits, and you've got everything you need uh, in there pretty much. All you need is an iron, pin, scissors, sewing machine, fabric stick, and spray adhesive. Basically stuff that you're all going to have. You could, uh, if you wanted to, hand sew these. No reason why you couldn't do that. You will also get in here the stocking kit, which is amazing. But all you need is an iron, uh, some pins and some scissors to do that. That's it. And you've got your embroidery hoop. You just need a pin, some scissors and an iron as well to complete that. So a really lovely little selection. Maybe something you want to do with the family in the build-up to Christmas might be really, really good fun. Maybe you're someone that's a soft crafter and soft crafted for a while. It'd be a great first project or a uh, reintroductory, reintroductory, reintroduction? Perhaps? Reintroduction. Thank you. Uh, 35 95 or 45 49 to get those. They make beautiful items, they though, don't they, They certainly Corey? do. And you can be making stockings just like this. I've got, had the little hoop on there. There you go. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Now, as I said, you're getting the transfers so that you can transfer the detail onto your fabric so that you're, you know, you're not um, stitching blind. So you've got everything. So you've got the full alphabet and all the embellishments. Looks beautiful. And then you You've got this gorgeous, gorgeous um, advent calendar. There you go, it's hiding me, sorry. And these just work and match perfectly with all of the elements that you can see in the main kit. So you've got your 25, because I like a 25 um, uh, advent calendar. You've got all the little pockets that you can put little treats in, little gifts, whether it's for you, for hubby, for the grandchildren. Yes, little dog I was just thinking there. Elsie would love that mm. if I put little dog treats. Although she'd probably just stand there and whine at it if she could smell do them. Do you buy her a Christmas present? I do. Do you? I do. What does she get? A toy or some treats. Does she get Christmas dinner? She did this year. Just gone. She didn't? She did this oh. year. Just gone, yeah. Was it Isn't a doggy it? Christmas dinner or your Christmas dinner? Us. Yeah, of course. A little bit of potato and some vegetables. Mm. Nothing that did a bad... Oh, we did have some turkey. Yeah. Because we don't usually No Brussels eat sprouts, I hope. Oh, of course, they're my husband's favourite vegetable so, I mean, of the did, year. Did Elsie have Brussels sprouts? I can't remember. Oh, I, can't, I just can't imagine that would be a good combo, dogs eating <laughs> Brussels sprouts. <laughs> What needed to happen then was that lorry needed to go by again yeah, at that very second it. then. That would have been perfect comedic timing, but no, not to, not to her matter. Let's move on. Let's share with you these. Uh, oh, we're going to do card of the show first, I think. Oh, we're we going to do to card these. of the Is show. Right. right. Let's see what order we did these awesome. in. So we did, number one was the little gift bag. Number two was the flowers. There we go, the Christmas flowers. I, think, I can't remember which order it was, so I'm going to put these on. Number three, I'm going to call the box. Number four is going to be the double bauble. And number five is the reverse easel. There you go. So there you are. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. Amazing, absolutely uh, incredible. So let me uh, move on uh, and share these with you. So uh, we've got the, man these are your discovery kits. You guys absolutely uh, love these. Michelle is gonna be absolutely fuming. Why is that? Because <laughs> Michelle was coming, because we've got train strikes this weekend, haven't we? Sunday yeah. and Monday. Yeah. Uh, Michelle was coming up today because she couldn't get a train tomorrow. Trains on strike on Sunday. They've called off the strike, so they've only just announced it today. <laughs> and oh I think dear. she's probably already on her way up. I would imagine she is. Oh gosh. I'm um, best to join in a minute, see if she's on her way. You'd be fuming, wouldn't you? Yes, because yes. that means she's going to be up here two days early for nothing. Yeah. Uh, blended mandalas uh, is this one you've got just <coughs> here. So these are excellent. You get everything in here included. Um, so you've got all your tri-blends, as you can see. You've got uh, three of them in here, so that gives you nine markers in total, two art liners. You get the printed worksheets and the how-to booklet as well. So you're basically going to be able to teach yourself these sort of little crafty disciplines, which is uh, which are amazing. You also then got the um, this one here is your creative coloring, and in there you're going to get five classics, which is excellent, and an art liner and the printed worksheets as well. And then we've also got this one here, which is your modern calligraphy, two metallic markers. You've also got your sparkle pen in there and a couple of art liners as well, of course, as the worksheets and the also the worksheets and also the how-to guide as well. £18.60 or £31.52 is your price there on those. We're going to go back to that self-healing cutting mat and also uh, the paper trim mat. Yes. Detail for the cutting mat uh, here, £6.99. Or nine ninety nine. This yep. is gorgeous and it smells delicious. It does smell delicious. I really do like this. So this is a nine by um, twelve inch mat. So you're going to fit your A4 or your letter size card on here, absolutely perfectly. You've got your imperial and you've got your metric measurements. So you've got your um, degrees. So if you are trying to do things and line things up at angles, then you've got all of those on there. I haven't taken this little band off. It is a self healing mat. So this means that if you use it with your craft knife. It it's not going to permanently mark it it will heal over oh, effectively it does so you know sometimes i give them a nice good wash because i sometimes think those actually helps the marks to come out even more so just sort of put it in a bath of water i find is really nice. really good well, i think it's magic how does it self heal I don't know. I don't know either. No, I don't know. It's really clever, isn't it? But this is the perfect size to fit in your craft bag and your craft tote to take out with you. It's the perfect medium if you're going to do colouring to lie your card on to give you the perfect base so that you've not got the um, the grooves off from anything else. So that's your Violet Studio craft mat. And the other one you've got is your Violet Studio trimmer. Now this is different from a guillotine because you can start where you know you want to do just here. So what you can do with this is first of all it extends with the arm just there. So what I can then do, so let me think this through. So this piece of cardstock is eight and a quarter wide. So if I want to do a score two inches, I want to do a cut two inches in, so eight and a quarter. So if I put that at six and a quarter and then I do a cut from, I'm going to make this my life a little bit easier. I'm going to just trim that down to 10 inches. Let's just trim, let's just trim that to 10 inches. There we go. So like I say, it's a trimmer. So I can trim my cardstock. Let's do that 10 inches by eight inches. We're just going to make life a little bit easier because we're doing this on the hoof as we speak. Ah, yes, your, your blade does come out. Does it? I just worked out how to do it. Oh, by okay. actually, look, it slides out of there. There's a little little groove. So when you get to there, lift it out. Ah, it lifts up and lift then slides there, out. And then slides out, and then you can put it back in. There we go. Brilliant. I did that by accident. So that, that answers all those. So we've got 10 by 8. So if I then go to uh, six and a half, that's one and a half inches in, and I want and I take that down to one and a half from here. Now I've got little markings on here and I've got my markings on there. So I know that's exactly one and a half. So this should be 10, so I'll go down to eight and a half. So we've got to the one and a half from the bottom. And I'm gonna turn it round again and put it back at six and a half. You're, this will make sense in a minute. There we go. And then we come in again at eight and a half. And I know it's at eight and a half because I've got the markings on my little 
um, blade so I've got a line and I can line that up exactly and then I can run it up to one and a half so there we go now what I'm going to do now is if this was 10 I'm going to take this to 5 I'm going to pop that there I'm going to take my score tool and I'm just going to find the centre and I'm just going to score between those two lines there we go and just to show you I could do let's just do um, will this work let's just go two and a half there so then we can just score here I might have to just do a hand score as well because I can't work this quickly off the top of my head. So that will now, can you see, we've got the perfect cut here. That's going to go there. Those ones are going to go there. I just need to lay it down on my table. Just hold on a minute. So if I then fold that to there, oops, we can, oh, I should have done that. That's, that way, that's right. Just a minute. I needed that one to go there. There we go. That will then oh, do clever. a, I should have put another score in just there. I've now got a very quick and rough and ready sidestepper. But I know that that is a perfect one and a half and that has fitted. I mean, how quick and easy was that? I was doing that on the hoof, <laughs> trying to make it up as we went along. But, you know, it works absolutely perfectly and you couldn't do that with a um, guillotine because you can't start and stop wherever you need to do so yeah there we go that's another reason why you need a good paper trimmer it really you really do uh 14.99 or 19.99 if you want to get your hands on the paper trimmer it is really really busy on that at the moment so do not miss out on it don't forget we've got another brilliant show coming our way later today as well don't we what are you looking forward to in that later craft vault show, Corinne. Oh, we've got lots of well, things. Well, what we've got we've... left, I think we've had quite a few sellouts, mm, haven't I we? I know, I know. What, I'm trying to think what we've got left. We've got a, another colouring kit. We've got the Christmas scenes that we've not really looked at. After that, I'm waiting for Jamie to tell us what else we can show. Mm, we, we might have to, to add some extra bits. Mm, we will there's have not a lot a left look look behind around. here. We'll have a hunt around uh, for you. Remember, of course, the new collection is this one just here. This is what your launch day has been about. If you're only just joining us, remember, you can go back and watch all of this show back if you've missed any of it. You're going to get the pom-poms in here, the ribbons. You've got the uh, toppers. You've also got the 6x6 and the 12x12 paper pads, the wooden elements. You've got in the chipboard stickers as well as, of course, the shaker stickers. And you're going to get the cracker kit included in there as well, which is absolutely awesome uh 27.59 or 37.19 if you want to get your hands on that as a platinum member and don't forget double points as well on this and everything else that you've got in the show card of the show is number two corin number two oh it was the flowers one there we go well, so you just noticed to me that your husband's called colin it's colin and corin yeah right it's almost the same isn't it it is almost the same oh, that's it brilliant I've yeah. that, how's that never um why has that never occurred to me know. until now we've known each other for years i know yeah strange isn't it it is anyway marvelous well i hope you've enjoyed the show i certainly, I certainly have. have yes it's been brilliant uh, i hope you've enjoyed it as well don't forget to check out your baskets remember come back and join us in two hours time 6 p.m uk time 2 p.m east coast 11 a.m west coast where i have that amazing craft but we'll see you then